morning, guys. Man, it's uh, it's a little bit past eight. I just spent the morning kind of getting myself ready. Not getting myself ready, trying to get this camera ready because I'm gonna take you guys through a full day of eating today. I am five days out from my second show in two weeks. So if you're curious what the timeline of things has looked like, uh, the last video I uploaded on this channel was my show day competition out in Baltimore. Now, went well, didn't exactly get the result I wanted, but um, I knew what adjustments I had to make going into a second regional men's physique competition with my coach. So we decided, hey, there's one even a little closer to home for me up in Cleveland. It's two weeks after the last show I did. So that means a quick turnaround. I had like a, a day diet break. The show was Saturday. So I had a couple of cheats Saturday night. Nothing too crazy. Did have some Ben and Jerry's. They got this dairy free stuff that's just phenomenal. And that was pretty good. Some chicken sandwiches. And then Flew back Sunday. I had a couple protein bars at the airport. That was my treat, really. And had some fruit that day, like some fruit, a little bit of Mexican. But I, honestly, I, other than that, I just ate my meals. And then Monday, I was right back on the, the training and, and diet until we decided midweek that, hey, I'm gonna be doing a second show. And I was like, okay, Saturday was peak week. Now we're here Tuesday, five days out. And uh, things are going a lot a lot smoother this time around. I think it's just because I know exactly what to expect. So, you know, I'm a little bit calmer, understand my body that much better from just having gone through it. Yeah, man. And I don't know, I'm just even more excited for this one. I think it's less stressful to not having to travel as far for the show. So today I'm going to take you through my typical day. Really, this has been a lot of the prep full day of eatings. If Okay, my words are going to escape me because I'm just A, not awake, but B, Keep in mind, still pretty low carb, so cut me a little slack. But yeah, this this is really a typical day. There's a couple tweaks that I'll point out because it's peak week, meaning I'm getting ready for this show. There's a couple things I'm doing differently that I haven't done in previous weeks or that I don't typically do. Man, other than that, this is it. I usually drink, oh man, I don't really measure it. And I should maybe like three quarters cup black coffee, no more than a cup. Just straight black, unsweetened. You guys saw that that coffee. And this is the only thing I have before I do some fasted cardio. So, just a little something, man. Gets me moving. Gets the cardio intensity up a little bit. Because I'll be going downstairs. Got this little apartment gym. I'll be doing cardio. 45 minutes on the bike. And then I'll stretch for a minute. Do some abs. Do some posing. So it is kind of long. It ends up being sometimes i mean close to like an hour 20 hour and a half that i'm down there so it's nice to have a little caffeine in me get the most out of the cardio and posing session yeah i'll take you guys down there let me change into a little more cardio gear other than what i'm wearing here which is sick i do like these these are kind of hard but uh yeah it's not the best on a bike you know what i mean you need it's, it's a tough situation on a bike so you got you got to find the right shorts to hold everything in place while you're on a bicycle for 45 minutes in the morning. So I'm gonna change and then we'll go get this. That's that 45 minutes, not too bad. I think, what did I do? Pass the time. Listen to some music. Watched, uh, actually I was watching, reviewing my show day video that Ken just sent in, so I'm uploading that later today. So, it's productive, I say. Now I'm gonna stretch, do some abs real quick, pose, and then I'm gonna catch up with you guys at breakfast, which is by far my favorite meal of the day. So I'll see you in a second.
to enjoy this meal. Stretching, posing, abs, all that went pretty well. Now to add this. So I, I've been using for the last like month, the last prep in these two weeks leading up to this show, this almond butter just has dry roasted almonds and palm oil in it. It's a little pricier, but paying for, you know, this instead of like the processed peanut butter, I feel a lot better at least taking. You'll see me adding a lot of salt to my meals. That's something I normally don't do, but I'm doing at this at this stage, four or five days out here, and then our everything sprinkle. This guy has no sodium, zero milligrams of sodium. So this is something I'll use every day on my eggs. I mean, if you couldn't tell, I was putting a generous portion on. We'll get our tablespoon of almond butter going. It's gonna be about nine, 10 grams of fat here. Oh yeah, that's healthy, healthy. Ooh, I'm gonna show you a close up in a second because it's good. And then man, this with the salt, Soft that flavor come out a little bit more. Incredible. And of course, drinking a lot of water at this point in prep too. Right now I'm at one and a half to two gallons of water every day. You'll see me sipping if I, if I throw it in there, here and there. I don't like to drink too much when I eat because I'll kind of get bloated. So I'll usually drink like right before I start cooking and then maybe like 10, 15 minutes after I eat is when I'll do the most water, just cause when I do with the food, just feel a little too full. And the last thing I wanna show you guys before I chow down are the vitamins and just general daily supplements I take every day in and outside of prep. So we got spirulina, which is just the greens, bromelain or bromelain, depending on how you say it, that's a digestive enzyme. You've got healthy, essentially everything moving uh, this my coach has me taken since the start of prep in the off season I just call it GABA it's supposed to help with mental focus relaxation and sleep a little vitamin D3 it is sunny today in Ohio well the clouds are bright but yeah this that's a definite must a little bit of zinc and a general multivitamin so no codes for these, nothing special. And then I'll take it with my collagen peptide drink. This one happens to be from Optimum Nutrition and it's pretty good. It's like this watermelon citrus flavor. Probably get these down after my meal, to be honest. That's what I usually do. So the close up on this peanut butter, man, this peanut butter situation, or should I say almond butter because it's not peanut butter. Although peanut butter would be pretty good. Look at that, man. Yeah. That's going to be delicious. I don't know if I want to film myself eating. Do you guys really want to see that? I'll set down the camera. I'll eat. And uh, I'm going to catch up with you guys in the next meal, which is slightly less exciting. But I still make it pretty good. So see you guys in a minute after you watch me eat. Because maybe you want to do that.
plates in the air fryer, little Mrs. Dash, red pepper flakes on top, and then just spread it with the olive oil or the um, avocado oil. Did the same thing with the asparagus, avocado oil, a little bit of salt. After it's cooked, it's about an ounce and a half of asparagus. And we're gonna try to measure out with one hand, six ounces of the chicken. And I guess I get a little bit of a treat today. I don't know. I still think they're pretty, pretty bitter. <laughs> right off the cutting board. That was, I should have saw that coming. Feast. Meal number two for the day. It's gonna be another 35, 40 grams of protein in the uh, six ounces of chicken or like 170 grams. Got the asparagus, grapefruit. Eh, it's all right. Oh yeah, I know uh, I'm no Ken. He's gonna be joining us for the next meal for our training session today, but I know you saw the shot of that grapefruit. It was good, it was real good. And then uh, since I get the extra sodium today, a real generous dousing of my favorite hot sauce, which is this chili garlic Cholula. Pretty good stuff. And that is really it. I'm gonna get this guy down. It's uh, a little bit after 12.30 now. So Ken will be here probably an hour or two, probably like an hour. And then uh, I'll show you guys my pre-workout meal next. But I'm gonna take my time, enjoy this salted asparagus. Mm. And this chicken. Have you back, Ken? It was just it was me and them on a little vlog camera this morning, and uh, hey, we made it work. I got some good shots you'd be proud of when you go to edit this grapefruit. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I only ate half, and uh, I don't think I really took time to explain why I eat a grapefruit. Uh, so instead of getting my hands messy first, I'm gonna throw in the rice. This is going to be meal number three, which is also the pre-workout meal. about 100 grams of rice, approximately. That's not 100 grams in there, I already know that. These little, uh, since I, I really don't eat much rice at this point, these little Uncle Ben's microwave guys are really convenient. Because, I mean, if I made a whole batch of rice, man, it'd take me about two weeks to eat at this point. So I do not complain. All right, anyway, not, uh, 100 grams of rice. I'm gonna do a protein shake. So I'll show you the protein. i mix up two scoops of that, some creatine, and I'm gonna knock down the other half of this grapefruit. My coach, well, there's a couple reasons my coach has been eating this, this grapefruit this week. One nice thing is that it's pretty low calorie for the whole thing. About 40 calories, just like 10 carbs, 10 grams of carbs. It's supposed to be pretty filling. I eat it, I'm still pretty hungry. I like to think maybe it's helping a little bit. And then it's supposed to help with like insulin regulation, could help your immune system, could help break down like supplements you take, like some of the uh, uh, vitamins you guys saw me taking earlier. So this is a nice little special fruit. It's growing on me slowly. I still don't know how I feel about it, Ken. I don't know. Maybe jump in the comments, let me know what you think about grapefruit. I don't eat that. Wish you guys could see his face. That is impressive, man. 99 grams, and because I want these carbs, I'm cool with it. 
on number two already for the day. Doing pretty good with this water, man. And we'll use this to make our protein shake. Serving of creatine, just five grams of creatine. Two scoops of this guy, 50 grams of protein in total. Come on. This flavor's pretty dang good, by the way. Chocolate peanut butter. Should still be available on the website. So obviously everything from EHP Labs. This, the pre-workout I'm gonna take in a second. The BCAAs and glutamine, which you saw me take this morning. So if you guys do wanna grab anything from them, I do have a discount code. It's linked below, probably also down here somewhere on the video screen. So yeah, shout out to these guys. And uh, if you can't tell, I'm crashing off this coffee real hard. I'm gonna knock this back with a little bit of extra salt. And uh, we'll mix our pre and then pretty much head to the gym. It's about like a 15 minute drive to the gym. So by the time I start mixing my pre and everything, I'll end up getting at least 30 minutes to digest this before I start training. I'll see what I want. Tim. What? To You already know. Mmm. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. Well, I'm getting every grain, man. Alright. Enough of me. You can grab. pre-workout courtesy of EHP Labs again and I do like this guy I think I've been talking about it the last month or so in these videos but I've taken it I think really since the start of the year it's now what March mid-March it's pretty good man because it's got a, um, a five-stage energy release like oh yeah the pump blend L-citrulline pump blend some performance EAAs mixed in and then what I also have been taking Oh wow, that's crazy, man. All right, well, let me clean that up, okay? <laughs> you gripped it too hard, man. You're getting stronger. That, I know is not a fact, because I know I'm definitely getting weaker. <laughs> Did I bench the other day? Yeah. It was like halfway through a chest and tricep workout. Yeah. Kind of like what we'll be doing today. Mm -hmm. I put 225 on the bar after I warmed up at like 135. I was just doing like sets of like 12. Yeah. I did two reps and I just put it down to like it ain't even I don't even know if two more were happening. The level of depletion my body's at at this point. Don't get it wrong, like I might look a little full today, but that's really just the salt and water that I've been chugging. Because without it man, shrivel up to nothing. Or what I'll also be taking with me are some BCAs. I'll sip on these like two thirds of the way through the workout just to try to help prevent any kind of muscle loss because I'm usually at the gym for about three hours with cardio and posing and everything included. Now EAAs are ideal. I think they might have actually finally switched it. Their BCAA available online might just be the new EAAs. Either way, link is below. Same discount code. This is the last of the supplements for the day. I feel like I've been talking a lot about subs, but you know, in addition to the diet sprinkled here and there, I think they definitely can help. Pretty good with that though. Slick. It's always a good day when I don't get BCA's dust everywhere. All right, I finished this tonight, so hopefully I can get most of this down at the at the gym today. Let's get moving, man. Yeah.
right, so we're starting this guy out. Five sets of 20 on the push-ups. Got to do like my little jump rope, just five minutes, get the blood flowing. Shoulders actually feeling surprisingly decent. I think it's healed up a little bit since the last show, but it's still, still a little bit tweaked just because you know, I don't have the nutrients to really allow it to recover right now. I'm not taking a rest. That's probably bigger, bigger than two. All that means is today, go a little bit lighter, a decent amount lighter. My strength isn't there, but I also don't want to push that shoulder. Um, just focus on the squeeze, slow down the reps a little bit. Not anything crazy on the negatives, just enough to increase the time under tension a little bit, put a little more emphasis on the muscle we're training and just make lighter weight feel heavier. I don't even know how much heavier than 135 I'll go. Uh, first couple sets are like 15 to 12 rep range. We got five, I got five sets on here, so. I mean, shoot, if this gets it done, it gets it done. I'd like to think I'll do more. Mars put me through this one, man. A couple supersets midway through the workout. The weight's not bad. 80 for 10, real slow. Or slow for me, at least controlled. Still getting a decent squeeze. I mean, I can tell, like, just how depleted my chest is, just based off that. But get four of these in, and then I think we'll go into shoulders after this. This is the last of the chest, really, today.
That air fryer is not too loud, and you guys can hear me. Um, I'm gonna prep some more asparagus after it's cooked. It'll be like two ounces or so, two and a half ounces, like 60 grams or so of uh, the asparagus. Again, I'm gonna put some avocado oil on it, a little bit of salt. The session was good. It was long, man. We were there. We were gone probably like four hours in total. So we stopped to pick up something for Ken. Yeah, I mean it's. Flowed through it, just a lot of volume, since you guys saw. And then I, the only thing uh, I finished up with was a superset of triceps, which was skull crushers uh, with an easy bar into a close grip bench press. We burned it out, 10 and 15 on there. And then uh, I had to pose, so I posed for like 20, 25 minutes or so, and then got on the treadmill, did an incline walk for 30 minutes, got my post workout cardio. Normally, I'm not at the gym that long, but found a week before the show, so that's just how my training is right now. It's a lot. 
I threw the, the pot in, you guys saw the spices I used. I really, really like these, uh, these Mrs. Dash on prep because they don't have any, they don't have any salt. Now obviously I'm adding some salt. I told you how it's different this week. Some crushed red pepper just to give it a little extra kick. And I got a really good sauce I'm gonna put on the fish when it comes out. So we'll do another six ounces of that, which is again another like 35, 40 grams of protein. No more carbs the rest of the night. So that I don't get to enjoy until I carve up for the show in a couple days. And that's it. Yeah, the asparagus. I'll like get some work done. Then Ken's gonna be gone, so it's just gonna be you and me guys. We got a we got a good little arsenal up here on spices. That's the, that's the crew right there. All ready to go. I'm so tired. <laughs> I was joking with Ken. We're getting out of the car, coming up here. Cause I don't mean to complain, but bro, I'm so tired. It's hitting me. You were like, bro, you've been tired the last two months. I'm like, damn, you're right. You're right. But, you know, it's almost there. It'll all be worth it. My sense, good. Posing felt really good today. So I'm ready. And stack them. There we go. Oh, that's hot. You'd think I'd learn by now. Six ounces, which is also 170 grams, I believe. Sometimes I measure in ounces, sometimes grams. As long as it's solid ounces and not liquid ounces, you're fine. That's almost six right there. So do a little bit more and we should be good. Yep. Now we need to pack this up, put our asparagus in for seven minutes. This is our MVP of the day. Is uh actually not this is our this is our runner up, this salt. The MVP of the day is by far the avocado. All right, again, 400, seven minutes. Comes out perfect every time, easy as that. I really wish I worked with an air frying company that I could give you guys like a discount for because I don't know, I can't say enough how much it's helped this prep to just make food taste a lot better. It's been all fat, you know, I'm not worried about like cooking in olive oil or anything in the pan. Doesn't smell up the apartment as much, although no matter what you do, Shake guys, this, which is my favorite, hands down my favorite seasoning. Or not seasoning, dude, what am I saying? Man? Hands down my favorite sauce for fish. So I put this avocado, tilapia, sometimes even salmon. When I get salmon, my coach is giving me a little more fat. But then again, I like salmon on its own. It's got a good flavor, especially if you get the skin on salmon. I'm telling you, if you get salmon, get his skin on, a little salt. You gotta just do avocado oil. Um, but this G Hughes. So I used their barbecue sauce, big time too. Just their original barbecue sauce with this sugar-free sweet chili sauce. It does have, if you're watching your sodium, 250 milligrams per two tablespoons. So if you're using a generous amount, it adds up quick. But it's sugar-free, so this is perfect for me, especially this peak week where I can 
my coach wants me eating extra sodium. And man, I'm telling you. Look at that. Yeah. Let me have a little moment. Asparagus is so good too. All right, it's late. Ken's got to get out of here. I'll take you guys through my last two meals. I'm probably gonna enjoy this. Maybe you chill out, watch a little Naruto, because uh, it's prep, and that's a good excuse to put my feet up before a competition. And that's really it. I'll catch you guys in about an hour and a half for meal number. All right, meal number five, straight protein and a little bit of sauce slash seasoning. I was putting the sauce on and I realized I didn't even heat up anything. So I was a little bit short on the shredded chicken. Now this is from Trifecta. It's a little meal prep company I use, or it's a pretty big meal prep company. But I only had about three and a half ounces of the chicken left in that pack. Didn't want to open a new one. So went back to the cod that you just saw me cook, fleshed the meal out to a total of six ounces or 170 grams. We're gonna throw a little bit more of this sauce on the cod. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. Watch some Naruto. It's a little after 9.30 right now. So I'll probably eat my last meal just past 11 or around 11. Heat it up. Oh, I put it in the air fryer, 350 three minutes. That's all it really takes is I don't want to like cook it too much, just enough to heat it up. Yeah. That chicken's really good. We got our cod. I like this. I don't normally do this, but it's a nice little protein medley, I guess. And if you haven't noticed, the protein is pretty dang high. I'll have the totals for you after this last meal because I don't go by macros with my coach. It's just kind of more strict bodybuilding meals like this. But you know, even what I'm cutting right now, I want a lot of my calories from protein because it's going to help preserve muscle mass, uh, which is very important. Obviously, when I've been in a slight deficit for so long, you know, and I'm trying to lose as much body fat as I can while still looking full and holding on to as much muscle mass as possible. It's a delicate balance that requires a lot of protein every day. <coughs> Excuse me. Spice is kicking. Uh, requires a good amount of protein every day, whether it's cut, bulk. All right. I'm going to go watch Naruto. And we're back. Man, did a little bit of work. Ended up watching like a half of an episode of Naruto. Played a game of Halo 5. I had to. My team lost. It was a dang shame. But actually, I had a, had a pretty good kill streak going, you know, I can't lie. All right, never mind. Not important. But what is important is getting down this final meal and then getting to bed. It's just after 11. Six ounces of the chicken from earlier air fryer chicken, and then about 80 grams or so of peas. Felt like mixing it up from the asparagus and another switch up instead of the hot sauce. I just had so much today, I needed to mix it up. Going with this G Hughes again. This is the original barbecue sauce I was telling you guys about. That's pretty good. And I get one tablespoon of almond butter. That'll be my nice little treat. Again, most of this, I just want to zone out. Watch a little Naruto. I'm gonna finish this episode. They're going at it, doing something in the forest. Uh, yeah. I mean, honestly, I could eat this plain, but I need to add salt. So I did calculate everything I eat for the day. This is the first time, or one of the first times I really calculated my macros on prep. Like I said, my coach doesn't. Man, it's so good. My coach doesn't really go by macros, so there's no point in me calculating everything. You know, I just gotta sit down and eat it all. But if you're curious, I will tell you what they are. Pop them up on screen. The only thing I didn't include when factoring in is the sauces. So honestly, I probably had maybe 
about like 100 calories or so worth of sauce total and most of that's just like minimal carbs maybe 15 or 20 grams of carbs and then some other odds and ends to get it up to 100 calories so keep that in mind when you hear these totals but out of all the food and supplements i ate being supplements being protein i'm at just over 1800 calories 103 carbs so definitely low carb at least for me that's pretty low 36 grams of fat definitely low but it's prep and just over 260 grams of protein which if you're even following the rule of a gram of protein per pound of body weight I, I haven't even weighed myself in months I would be shocked if I'm over 175 right now so that's a good amount of protein but that's what the coach likes like I said it's high like that when I cut it's high like that when I bulk I'm cool with it keeps me pretty full right now for the most part But that's all I got for you. Yeah, I'm gonna knock this down, chill out for maybe another half an hour, and then I'm passing out, cause I'm just, I'm exhausted, man. I really am. But, oh, that was fun. Honestly, I had a lot of fun filming this one today. When it's just, you know, normally Ken's always here, so it's nice. Just the, just the two of us, man. So, thank you guys so much for watching, subscribing, supporting, you know, using my codes and, and whatnot you know, to get you guys some stuff because it, it does help me out. And it's just, man, it's been a ride. It's been a ride, especially the last month, prepping for a show, coming out of that, finding out I'm doing another show two weeks later. So hopefully this gives you guys some insight into what my life is like right now because this is most of it. it, really is. Anyway, that's a full day of me eating on a cut, a couple days out from a show. But what do I know? I'm just mad.